In 1687, Isaac Newton, a monumental figure in the history of science, made a groundbreaking discovery. He realized that a force of gravity exists between objects with mass. This theory was revolutionary, considering that before Newton, people noticed objects like apples falling from trees but never understood why. Newton proposed that there's a reason for everything in the natural world, including why apples fall from the sky to the ground. He formulated the universal law of gravitation, which states that every object with mass in the universe attracts every other object with a certain force. However, Newton's discovery led to a fascinating challenge. According to his Principia Mathematica, where he described universal gravitation, every object with mass, whether it's a small apple or a massive celestial body, exerts gravitational force. This implied that all celestial bodies should be attracting each other with incredible forces due to their massive sizes. Newton observed no evidence of such attraction leading to a contraction of the universe or celestial bodies coming closer together. The universe seemed static, neither expanding nor contracting but maintaining its current state. Faced with this contradiction, Newton could only conceive of two possibilities. Either his law of universal gravitation was flawed or some unknown force was counteracting the immense gravitational pull of celestial bodies. Despite this, Newton strongly believed in his theory and concluded that the universe must be infinite. Looking back from our modern 21st century perspective, Newton's insights were remarkably ahead of his time. However, Newton's theory encountered a profound and simple question that challenged its very foundation. Why is the night sky dark? This question, known as Olbers' paradox, emerged from a thought experiment by the German astronomer Heinrich Olbers. It posits that if the universe were infinite and filled uniformly with stars, then every line of sight in the night sky should end at the surface of a star, making the night sky as bright as the surface of the sun. The paradox arises because our night sky, as we observe, is predominantly dark. This paradox was a significant puzzle for astronomers for over a century. The debate around the dark night sky had always been centered around the nature of light. In ancient Greece, philosophers and scientists had various theories about light. Some, like Empedocles, thought of light as a material entity that needed time to travel. The concept of light speed being infinite was widely accepted and went unchallenged until the 16th century, when Tycho Brahe observed a supernova. His observations led some scientists, including Johannes Kepler, to question the notion of light's infinite speed. Kepler suggested that light's speed was finite, a radical idea for the time. The first serious attempt to measure the speed of light was made by Galileo Galilei in 1638. He tried to measure the time it took for light to travel between lanterns placed on distant hills, but was unable to detect any delay due to the immense speed of light. His experiment was inconclusive, but it led to the hypothesis that if light has a measurable speed, it must be extraordinarily fast. A breakthrough came in 1676, when Danish astronomer Ole Roma used observations of Jupiter's moons to make the first quantitative estimate of the speed of light. He observed that the times of eclipses of Io, one of Jupiter's moons, varied depending on Earth's distance from Jupiter. He concluded that light must take time to travel from Io to Earth, leading to his calculation of light speed. Although his estimate had about a 26% error, it was a monumental step in proving that light speed was finite. The issue of light's finite speed partially addressed Olber's paradox but did not fully resolve it. The paradox persisted until the advent of the Big Bang theory in the 20th century. This theory proposed that the universe is not static but expanding and has a finite age. This means that there is a limit to the light that can reach us from distant stars and galaxies, explaining why the night sky is dark. The Big Bang theory, while resolving many mysteries of the universe, also had its limitations and led to further scientific inquiries and theories. In essence, Newton's discovery of gravity and subsequent developments in understanding light and the universe's structure have been a remarkable journey of scientific inquiry and discovery, showcasing how our understanding of the cosmos has evolved over centuries.